Alhamdulillah, this is the, the fifth khutbah focusing on the concept of Yawm al the Day of Resurrection. And today we would start with some words from Amir Mulk al Kalam, Amir al Mu'mineen, alayhi salam, that in different sermons in Najul Balagha, he spoke about the truth of transition from this world to hereafter. Ayyuhan Nas, kullumr'in laqin ma yafirru minhu fi ferrari. Everybody is running away from dying. Imam says, but the death would meet humans while they are running away from it. Another time the Imam says, وَإِنَّ غَدًا مِنَ الْيَوْمِ قَرِيبٌ يَذْهَبُ الْيَوْمُ بِمَا فِيهِ وَيَجِيءُ الْغَدْ لَاحِقًا بِهِ Tomorrow is very close. To today. Today is going with its package. Pain and pleasure and sadness and happiness, whatever it is, it's going. And tomorrow is coming with its own package. فَكَأَنَّ كُلُّ مْرِئٍ مِّنْكُمْ قَدْ بَلَغَ مِنَ الْأَرْضِ مَنْزَلَ وَحْدَتِهِ وَكَأَنَّ السَّيْحَةُ قَدْ أَتَتْكُمْ Like it seems that everyone is approaching the land of loneliness the area that we are going to buy ourselves <coughs> And it seems that everybody already heard the ring of departure. Then Imam says, Tajahazu rahimakumullah, Fakad nudiya fikum bir rahil. May God bless you, be ready, because you are already called. Then the Imam says, وَخُذْ مَا يَبْقَى لَكَ مِمَّا لَا تَبْقَى لَهُ وَتَيَسَّرْ لِسَفَرِكَ In this transition, take something that is going to stay with you from the world that you are not going to stay in it forever. So then, make your journey easy. Then Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam says, فَقَبْتِعُوا عَلَائِقَ الدُّنْيَا وَاسْتَذْهِرُوا وَاسْتَذْهِرُوا بِزَادِ التَّقْوَى Do your best to cut all these ties and attachment with this word. <coughs> and strengthen your soul with the power of taqwa. Imam is saying that in this transition from this world to hereafter, the best transport is your taqwa. And taqwa is the essence of a tawheed. Taqwa is related to a tawheed, the piety. Means to be united with God and to make connection with Him. That is the secret of your salvation. Because that is the slogan on all the envy, all the prophets and messengers. 
If you want to summarize their message, this is the summary. Qulu la ilaha illallah tuflihu. Announce a tawheed, the unity of God, and your connection with Him, and your relationship with Him, that is the ocean of salvation. Remember, Allah ila Allahi tasirul umur. Everything will end to Him. So who is Allah? Who is God? That answer is repeated in the Quran hundreds of times. Who is God? In Ashura, you used to say, who is Hussein, right? Now, who is the one that even Imam Hussein was looking for? Allah Nur Samawati Wal Earth. He is the light of heavens and the earth. Who is God? There are four fundamental features in the Quran. Very fundamental in introduction of God. This is God. The origin, the end, the one who is seen, the one who is not seen. It is seen in the universe. When you look at yourself, you can see God. Because we are manifestation of His existence. You look at the beauty of this universe, it is Zahir. God is Zahir, Zuhuruhu, the Samawati wal Aradi. And He is Batin in Alam al Barzakh, wa Alam al Qiyamah, wa al Jannah, wa al Nar. Who is God? We repeat Him, His name, and His qualities in every prayer. We say, when we say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, this is God. His name is ar-Rahman, and his character is ar-Rahim. So when somebody says, who is God? The answer is, God is ar-Rahman. That is God. Absolute mercy, absolute love. Who is God? Quran says, هُوَ مَعَكُمْ أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُمْ وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَسِيرٌ The God is the one who is with you no matter where you are. And He watches what you are doing. He watches your work. That is God. مَا يَكُونُ مِنْ نَجْوَى ثَلَاثَةٍ إِلَّا هُوَ الرَّابِعُهُمْ وَلَا خَمْسَةٍ إِلَّا وَهُوَ صَادِسُهُمْ وَلَا أَدْنَى مِنْ ذَلِكُ وَلَا أَكْثَرْ إِلَّا هُوَ مَعْهُمْ if you are three guys and man, woman, they are doing conversation, remember, the fourth one is God. If you five of them, the sixth one is Him. If you are just by yourself, He is the second. If you are one thousand, He is one thousand and one. He is with you no matter where you are. And then look at the language of the Quran talking to Prophet Muhammad. Ya Rasulullah, wa ma ramayt id ramayt walakin Allah rama. Even the time that you thought that you are the one who's throwing the, the dust towards the enemy, it was God. Because remember, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. La hawla means la haraka. There is no movement. And there is no might and power except Him. He is the source of every move and every might. If this is God, then the question is, فَمَا يُكَذِّبُكَ بَعْدُ بِالدِّينَ أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِأَحْكَمِ الْحَاكِمِينَ What did make you denying Him? How can you deny him? How can you deny your relationship and cut your relationship with this absolute truth? 
called Allah. If you are looking for salvation, follow your father Abraham. فَلَمَّا جَنَّ عَلَيْهِ اللَّيْلُ رَأَى كَوْكَبًا قَالَ هَذَا رَبِّي فَلَمَّا أَفَلَ قَالَ لَا أُحِبُّ الْآفِلِينَ He said, okay, people that are worshipping sun, worshipping moon, worshipping stars, he said, let me follow you. You want me to worship with you? Okay, let's look at this star. The moment that the star disappeared, he said, La hubul afilin. I cannot worship someone temporary, comes and goes. The ones that disappear. إِنِّي وَجَّهْتُ وَجْهِيَ لِلَّذِي فَطَرَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ حَنِيفًا وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ I submit my soul to the Lord of the world and I want to free myself from the disease of shirk. I know that if I'm looking for peace and salvation it's only re through relationship with Him I can achieve it. Allah, with dhikr Allah, tatma'innu al-qulub. Tatma'innu al-qulub. With dhikr Allah, only through reflection and remembrance of Him, we can enjoy peace. This is why when we went through the experience of Ashura, how come Imam Hussein and his family is going through all these pains and they look at pains like there's a pleasure. Is it possible that human being gets to the point that feels pains as pleasure? This is what Imam Hussein said when he said, Reda Allahi Redana Ahlul Bayt. His pleasure is our pleasure. That means that even if I go through pain, if this pain is his pleasure, then this pain is my pleasure. Mardatuhu mardati. This is what we recite in the Al-Kumail every Thursday. Ilahi inni sabartu ala adabik, fa kayfa asbiru ala faragik. Oh Allah! I can show patience for punishment, but I cannot have patience for separation from you. <coughs> this is how Ahlul Bayt interpreted the, the concept of a taqwa, the concept of tawheed, the concept of piety. When Amir al muminin is coming back from the battle of Safin and stopped by in the cemetery in the city of Kufa <coughs> and addressed the residents of the cemetery telling them that after you are gone your wealth was distributed your wives remarried your houses occupied by others this is information we can share with you what can you share with us then Imam look at his companion, he says, ثُمَّ الْتَفَتَ إِلَىٰ أَصْحَابِهِ فَقَالَ وَاللَّهِ أَمَا لَوْ أُذِنَ لَهُمْ فِي الْكَلَامِ لَأَخْبَرُوكُمْ أَنَّ خَيْرَ الزَّادَ التَّقْوَىٰ If they were able to communicate with us, the information that they would share with us would be this, that there is no zad, there is no better saving for your Eternal journey more than a taqwa. قُلْ يَا عِبَادَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اِتَّقُوا رَبَّكُمْ Then he says, إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ If you are looking for a day that you receive the reward of Allah بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Oh, subhanallah. Everything is with hisab. في الدنيا والآخرة يوم القيامة يوم الحساب. ليس كذلك. الله هو الحسيب. But there are people who go to paradise بغير حساب. Those people who went through the experience of التقوى. 
والسعر and patience فأولئك يدخلون الجنة يرزقون فيها بغير حساب صلى الله عليك يا أبا الحسن يا أمير المؤمنين قلت وكلامك الحق عندما قلت فإن التقوى في اليوم الحرز الحرز والجنة وفي غد الطريق إلى الجنة Beautiful description from Amir al-Mu'mineen. He is saying that the piety in this world is protection and hereafter is paradise. So from protection to paradise, this is the power of piety at taqwa. Unity with God, closeness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, the absence of taqwa the absence of modesty, the absence of al-haya, the absence of purity is the reason for all of this mess in families, in communities, in politics, in the world. You look at the presidential debate. That is the absence of taqwa. You hear so much lie and deception. There is no haya in conversation. There is no modesty in this dialogue. This is one example. After so many talk and question and answer and back and forth, the nation get more confused. Now which way should I go? Which one should I vote? Should I vote for Trump or for Clinton? One, one is saying that I'm going to deal with immigration this way and with Islamophobia that way. And another person is saying, I'm going to have a no-fly zone in Syria. That means continuity of the war and more massacre and more destruction. And you get confused that who is less evil after all this conversation? Where are we going from here? And you have to think a lot and work so, so hard and come to your conscience if you can find a little bit difference here and there, which one is a little less risky to vote and choose. We have to participate, but I'm saying when there is lack of piety, you have so much chaos and and confusion. And it's not only about politics in the United States because they are not Muslims. I mean, you go to the Muslim world, the Arab world is even worse than this. I mean, you find piety in Saudi Arabia's government policy at all. You don't see piety in Yemen. When the funeral service is bombed, you don't see this in, in Libya. You, you will see in the action of terrorists in Mosul now, criminals who just occupied another cities and doing all this, this massacre. So you see this mess in politics, in war, in terrorism, in violence. And even in the society social, yesterday there was some news that uh, the, the law uh, enforcement they were arresting some people, 82 kids were freed from the hands of those human traffickers. Kids from two years old to 20 and more, they just steal people. Be careful when you go to Target or you know, even pump, uh, uh, you know, gas station or whatever. There are criminals, they come and they steal human beings, the kids. And they use them as slave sex, sex slavery and human traffic. Can you imagine what kind of shaitan do such a thing to a boy or a girl of two years old? Out of these 82 people that arrested and freed from the, the hands of those human traffickers, 82, some of them two years old. It's unbelievable. 
Now we have medical marijuana. Now it's like medical. Now for, for a while that was a taboo that, oh, marijuana. And now it's becoming legal now. There was something in the news that 82 applications already we saw, like four or five of them in Warren Avenue, here just next door. That legally now they can provide drugs. And now we already saw the, the misery and destruction of drugs in divorces and in suicide, in depression and so much tragedy for, for the youth. So what is the way, brothers and sisters, to go back to at tawheed at taqwa and make our relationship and the connection with Rabbul Alameen, Nur al-Samawat, with al-awwal wal-akhir, wal-zahir, wal batin How can we do that? Probably the masjid is one of the hopes that that left Masjid al usasa and a taqwa. Unfortunately, in Muslim community, even on Friday, we don't see that much passion for prayer, even on Friday. So you see, almost every house is kind of related to Argili. I mean, like, even some parents, they are like so proud to teach their kids to smoke Argili, like this is something cool, right? The, the dad is doing it, and the, the boy is doing it, aha, uh -huh, my, my son is doing it too, like something like how professional he is doing it, and she is doing it. After all the problems and divorce and destruction of families that we saw, the hope is to bring us to, to the message again, and educate our children, our boys, and our daughters, the masjid. Yesterday we had a, a meeting, the Imam's Council, the Sunni Shia Imam. Unfortunately, not too many Shia Imam participate anyway, but I go all the time in this meeting because I use that platform as a platform of education. Like yesterday, I, I told all these Imams, all the masjid of uh, Ikhwan the Sunni, I said that Ashura happen in, in, in our community, anniversary of Ashura. Why is it that we don't see, we don't hear one word in your message about Ashura? Do you think Imam Hussein was the son of our prophet? Prophet Muhammad is not your prophet? His son was killed in Ashura. Didn't you hear any prophet said Hussein of Minyu and Imam Hussein? Don't you have this in your books? Rayhanati min dunya is my flower of this world. Didn't he say, Hussein, Sayyid Shabab Ahl Jannah? If that is the Hussein, the son of our Prophet, how come on the day of Ashura, we hear some of you, Ikhwan, you talk like Ashura is day of even celebration, like every good things that happen in history happen in the day of Ashura. So for that reason, we have to be so happy on Ashura. So many of those ahadith are even fake, they are not true ahadith. So we had a conversation, it's good, it's healthy. And I didn't say it in a hateful way, in a really brotherly and loving way of having a healthy conversation. And they did not reject that, they did not oppose that. And I had some positive feedback after that conversation. So we need to have this education about the masjid, when we are talking about the masjid, what is the role of the masjid? We have to be educated as an imams when we come taught with education and awareness, and people be educated about our faith and about our customs. And because we have ignorance on that side, and we have ignorance among ourselves. When I said something on the Facebook that now is our shura is over, and those youth who are at the time of marriage and they should go ahead and have capital kitab, there's nothing haram with that. And majority they agreed, but I received some of the comments very negative. That, oh no, we have to wait for the entire Muharram, entire Shah Safar, then time for marriage. It's like they are saying it's haram. I said, 
Is there any anywhere in the Quran or Hadith or any fatwa from any marja? We are encouraging a sunnah that ma bunya fil Islam bina un habu illallah min al zawaj. And you are saying that I mean is I I don't you know question the the love and passion for Al Bayt. We all are sharing it, but we have to be aware. You know, these are the same people who say uh, Hadrat Qasim has Irs in Ashura. They, they don't have problem to say that. That Qasim was only 12 years old, and they are saying he had like a wedding in Ashura. It's okay to say that. But then if you have a Catholic Kitab after Ashura, like you did something so haram, it shouldn't be a fraud and tafrid, extremism and ignorance. And sometimes trying to sell your zuhd and sell your taqwa, because that's wrong too. When we are talking about taqwa and piety, we are not talking about the riya and show and appearance and selling taqwa and selling deen and selling salat and selling siyam. That is not what we are talking about. We are talking about the, the spirit of... Uh, uh, our faith and the spirit of, of taqwa. So, Masjid, brothers and sisters, is a platform to promote piety and taqwa and tawheed and also education. So we have to bring our kids to Masjid and especially on Salat al-Jum'ah. I know that school is going on, business is going on, but I'm saying as much as possible that we can do something to strengthen the connection between the families and the masjid and the masjid become a source of light and guidance and direction to bring education to the community and to the world we stand for truth in this house of god and stand for peace and stand for justice as we remember our brothers and sisters who are fighting terrorism in, in Mosul, in, in Sana'a, in, in everywhere in the Middle East, in Africa. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala victory for the Iraqi forces who are uh, engaged in a very uh, critical battle with the forces of uh, uh, Erhab and forces of terrorism in, in Mosul and other Areas, Rabbana Atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa bina adab al-nar Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa al-asri inna al-insana la fi khus illa al-ladhina amanu wa amilu al-salihat wa tabasaw bil-haqq wa tabasaw bil-sabr wa aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfiru allaha li wa lakum wa li jami'i al-mu'minina wa al-mu'minat wa ila al-salati inna salata tanha al Allah Muhammad al-Wali Muhammad. Allah. 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 Allah.